What's up guys, Spin Firearms here. Now, this is pretty crazy. My Shield Arms Z9 mags for the second time now, both of them. So I have two Z9 mags from my Glock 43. That makes the Glock 43 9 plus 1. We're not talking about the Shield Arms S15 mags, which are for the 43X and the 48. Anyways, about a month ago or so, I had the same issues. I had them loaded up for about two weeks. And then when I went to go shoot, I had no lockback. And people say, oh, it's not a big deal. Locking back is a, not locking back is a malfunction. It shouldn't function like that. If your firearm is functioning in any way, you shouldn't make an excuse for it. So I contacted Shield Arms and they were fine. They sent out these replacement springs. Now someone counted the loops in my video and said that they were the same. So basically what I think it is, is they spaced the springs out between each coil or loops, whatever you want to call it. They spaced it out more and immediately it felt like more tension. My Glock 43 has had self-defense rounds in it now for three weeks, four weeks. With those replacement springs, they don't work. They don't lock back. You know what's sad? So back when I had the Mossberg MC1SE, when that firearm came out, they used ETS mags for it. I'm guessing they went to it for just their first firearm that they were ever, or their first handgun they were ever producing for Mossberg. So they went to ETS because it's cheap and so on. Anyways, my ETS mags that have been loaded since I had that Mossberg MC1SC, ETS mags, listen to this, have been loaded three years, four years, whatever it's been now. Not a single issue locking back. I put them in my 43, no issue locking back. And the reason why I say Mosberg is because Mosberg took Glock 43 mags. Um, so that's why I'm guessing they used ETS. They were already developed and so on. Anyways, my ETS mags from back then that are still loaded with hollows, zero issues locking back. What The problem with this is Shield Arms is a decent... Con this is my issue with Shield Arms. I love my Glock 43X. I love my 48. Um, I've had eight S15 mags, not a single issue with them. I know a lot of people do have issues with them. My problem is, if you've known you've had issues in the past with S15 mags, when you're going to release this Glock 43 mag, aren't you going to make sure it's perfect? Aren't you going to test the crap out of it? Aren't you going to leave hollow points in that magazine for longer than a month? I mean, if you're releasing this big product, you're going to drop the base plates for it. You know, it does change the actual fire on the Glock 43. In my mind, it changed it a little bit. Uh, made it more of a carry, you know, uh, for today's market, uh, a carry option for today's market. But now I'm really bothered by this. Now, <clears throat> you'll ask, have I been carrying it with the Shield Arms mags the last four weeks? No, I have not. I keep my OEM mag in there with the mag guts, which is 8 plus 1, and it's honestly about the same. If you added one round, it'd be about the same length as the Z9 mags, and you're using OEM mags, just a different internal system for the um, mag guts. If, you've ever looked, if you haven't ever seen mag guts, check them out. They're awesome. It's awesome what they do. They add capacity to your firearms, to your OEM mags. Anyways, I don't know what to do about this. I spent, I think for the two mags, it's like it was like $80 or $90 for two mags. They should work. You guys should have got all the kinks out of the system. You guys should have figured all this out prior to releasing them. When the S15 mags came out, both Gen 1 and Gen 2, that was a while ago. You know the 43 has been in production for a long time. You know these Z9 mags have not only been, they didn't only work on them for a month and say, oh, they lasted for a month and sent them out. I don't know how you could miss that for testing, um, but it's disappointing to me. Um, they said that these springs, they were aware of an issue, so they sent the new springs that should fix it. It lasted about two weeks longer and to be honest i didn't check it at that two three week period so i mean they could have gone bad a while ago like i said i haven't been carrying them i've just kept them loaded for testing i'm not going to carry something that was already having issues at the range you know two months ago and it's basically the same product um that's why we test our stuff that's why every video when i talk about this sort of thing we test our stuff i root for companies like shield arms but once again we're back at that point where you realize that oem is the way to go it doesn't matter across the board oem like, it's crazy that other companies like Metgar and stuff like that don't branch out and make magazines for the 43X. I'm sure they could make a good metal magazine that's reliable, trustworthy, and all that. Um, you know, even for the 43, they could have copied the same thing. I'm sure they would have had a perfect magazine. So it's like your whole company is based off this metal magazine that fixes the Glock um, that everyone said they had an issue with its capacity. So make the magazines work. But anyways... Let me know what you guys think down below. Let me know what you think the issue is. And it's not the followers. Um, I've had a lot of people in the comments say they've had the same issue and that the Z9 mags are just junk. I've seen videos online of people with um, a couple views and they're, you know, theirs are locked back, but no one's hearing their voice. You see the big influencers that didn't load up their Z9 magazines for, you know, two, three, four weeks. They just got them in the mail, loaded them up, shot them at the range and said, okay, they're good. 
but where in my case i expose these and i honestly should have done more testing because i was carrying with these z9 mags for a couple weeks um i went on a trip they, they could have been bad you know while i was carrying them so that's why you test stuff and that's why i i keep my magazines loaded you know what's amazing though my glock 26 one of the first mags i've ever got for my glock 26 gen 3 not a single malfunction i've shot so many rounds so it's been loaded up for years not a single issue um oem's the way to go uh Anyways, let me know in the comments what you guys think. It's just, if you're a company that makes one thing or two things that you specialize in, you, you should be able to knock it out of the park. And these are things that you should have looked at prior to releasing it. Anyways, let me know. Thanks for watching.